what are the roles of the government in the macro economy name three economic policies used by the government to ensure stability now we will do this question there are three economic policies the first is fiscal policy the fiscal policy refers to taxation and expenditure decision of the government before keynes it was believed that the government budget should be preferably be balanced that is revenue collected through taxes should be equal to the expenditure made by the government keynes showed that balanced budget is not good under all circumstances he advocated that at all the time of depression deficit budget should be made to get the economy out of it and to eliminate involuntary unemployment so after the keynes emphasized on the deficit budget he says that balanced budget is not good all the time in case of deficit budget the government expenditure exceeds revenue collected through taxes the budget deficit arises when the government increases its expenditure without raising taxes it arises when taxes are reduced without cutting back an expenditure therefore the policy of budget deficit represents expansionary physical policy why because it expands the growth of the economy or the gdp because it raises aggregate demand and leads to increase in national income and employment that is why it is called expansionary physical policy budgetary deficit represent expansionary physical policy to meet the budget deficit the government borrows from the banks and the public and pays interest to them this raises debt burden of the government the borrowing by the government increases the demand for loanable funds loanable funds are loans so it increases the demand of loans and leads to rise in the rate of interest the higher interest rate discourages private investment and this leads to crowding out effect therefore the government borrowing to finance budget deficit crowds out some private investments those private enterprises which are not getting profit during the time of recession they will crowd out they will leave there or in so become insolvent so that net effect of the budget deficit on the expansion in the output and employment is very small because they will become insolvent or they will leave their business alternative way and this is called crowding out effect alternative way to finance the budget deficit is printing of money by the government it may lead to inflation in the economy on the contrary when there is high inflation 
government can check it by reducing its expenditure or raising taxes in this way make a surplus budget so surplus budget is used to counter inflation and deficit budget is used to counter a recession this will reduce aggregate demand which will help in controlling inflation so surplus budget helps in controlling inflation and deficit budget helps in controlling a recession now there are two beautiful pictures you can see the left picture which summarizes the fiscal policy that fiscal policy is an essential tool at the disposal of the government to influence a nation's economic growth based on keynesian economics it is used in the coordination with monetary policy objectives objectives are boosting employment level and economic development maintain economy's growth rate raising the standard of living maintaining equality in price levels and balance of payment yes these are the objectives of fiscal policy these are easy tools there are two tools the taxation and public spending taxation includes taxes on direct taxes like income tax property tax wealth tax or in indirect taxes like sales and revenue and investment value added taxes and gsts all these things are indirect taxes public spending includes subsidies transfer payments welfare and public work projects so all the infrastructure development was done under public spending then there are physical deficit and physical surplus physical deficit is when if a government spends more than what it earns it leads to deficit surplus is if a government spends less than what it earns it creates a physical surplus expansion there are two types of physical policies first is the expansionary physical policy then contractionary fiscal policy expansionary where the growth of the national income or gdp increases is the expansion because because it expands and when it is contracts then the growth will also decrease it will contract so expansionary is to stimulate economic growth by increasing spending lowering taxes or both and this growth will be opposite to taxes because taxes puts a limit on businesses because taxes are on net profit contractionary is to slow the economic growth we will cover monetary policy in the next video in the right picture you can see the difference between expansionary fiscal policy and contractionary fiscal policy where you can see in expansionary government spending rises and taxes decreases and in contractionary fiscal in contractionary fiscal policy government spending decreases and taxes increases so in this session we have learned what is fiscal policy and the role of the government in fiscal policy